Hello, and today we're going to be completing activity uh, 3.1.5, Kirchhoff's Law Lab for PLTW, Principles of Engineering, or PLE. Uh, we're just going to do the physical build component of this. Uh, for it, it has this uh, building, we're creating this uh, kind of complex circuit here, uh, where we have our circuit comes into node A, and then it separates into two different resistors. Uh, two different lines that are parallel to each other. Uh, this one takes you to mo node B. Uh, this one takes you to node C. Uh, then they end at the same spot. So we have two parallel lines essentially that end at node D and then takes us back to our power supply. So essentially each one of these nodes is gonna be a different row on our breadboard. Uh, so node A is gonna be one row, uh, node B is gonna be a second row, node C is gonna be a third row, and no deeds gonna be a fourth row. So we're gonna end up using four rows on our breadboard. Uh, to get going, we need uh, four, five different resistors. Uh, so starting at the beginning is uh, 100. We're gonna use a uh, 100. Uh, so we're gonna do one, zero, and times 10. So brown, black, brown. So that's our first resistor we're gonna use. Uh, then second, we're gonna use a 150, which is gonna be one five so brown green times 10 is brown so brown green brown so we have that one here then third we're going to use a 220 ohm resistor our 220 ohm resistor is going to be red red brown so we have that one here uh, next is a 330 which is going to be orange orange brown orange orange brown and finally we have a 470 which is going to be a yellow purple brown so that's our 470 here uh, so we have those five resistors. Uh, we're going to arrange in our breadboard in this pattern that we kind of see here on our diagram. So I'm like usual so going to start at the very beginning. So we got to come in from our power supply. So I'm going to come in from our red on our power supply. Uh, we come into our positive end on our breadboard. Again, those are connected vertically. Then I'm going to take a jumper wire. Again, I'm going to use an orange jumper wire. And I'm going to go from my uh, positive just to any spot on my board so i'm just going to go to row three here uh, since i need two uh, resistors in here i'm going to go all the way over so that's in row three then i need two resistors which one you use totally doesn't matter totally up to you so i'm going to start with that 330 just because that's the first one i grabbed put that in row three and then put the second leg any spot we want i'm just going to go into row 11 here just because that's where it wants to go to so that's going to be my first resistor then I need a second resistor. I'm going to do my 220, uh, and I'm going to take my 220, and it's going to go from that same row three, uh, but this time I don't want to go into row 11. I want to go to a different row. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to go to row eight. So I'm going to be in row eight. So that one goes from three to eight. The other one goes from three to 11. Then I need one resistor that connects between those two. So I'm going to take my, in this case, it looks like the 150 is what I grabbed. And that 150 is going to go from row 8 where the first, re where my second resistor is at. So that's where the 220 ended at. And then it's going to go down to uh, the same row as my first resistor, that 330 ohm was in row 11. So I'm going to put that in row 11. So that gives me that jumper in between. Then next, I need this R4 and R5. So to do that, I'm gonna start with, I'll start with my R4, just to go in numerical order. Uh, looks like I picked up my 100 ohm resistor, so I'm gonna do my 100 ohm. And that's gonna go from that row 11, where my first resistor ended. It's gonna go from that same row, and then it's gonna go down to another row, which one, again, is totally up to you. Uh, we're going to go to, I think, uh, 18 or so, or 19, just because that's where it wants to go. We'll go to row 19. Then my last one, uh, this is my 470. Uh, that 470, i got to go take from, uh, I'm going to go from row 8 all the way down to row 19. So I'll find a spot, a good way to get into row 8. So I'll get into row 8 here on this end, if I can get it to go in. And I'm going to take that all the way down to row 19. Uh, same row as my last resistor. Once I have that set up, then I have to bring my my current back into uh, my negative row. So I'm going to take this uh, blue jumper wire and just go from 19 to my blue negative row. Or column, I should say. And then from there, I'm hooked up to my power supply. So then I can hook, turn on my power supply. What voltage you go at, it's totally up to you. I'm just going to turn my dial and I ended up at about 6.5 there. 
uh, but it's totally up to you what value you use. Uh, so that's how we set up our board. Uh, next we'll measure our voltage. So just once you're measuring voltage and then you calculate current for each one and then we'll measure our resistance as well. Uh, so the first value they want us to measure is resistance. So I'm going to start by turning off my power supply since we don't need that to measure resistance. Uh, and then to disconnect from my power supply, I'm going to unplug what's in the positive and negative end. So the blue from the negative and then this orange jumper from the positive, I'll unplug those two values. Then on our multimeter, I'll turn on our multimeter and we want to measure resistance. So we want to change over to our resistance setting. Uh, I'll start it at 2k since our largest resistor is 470 in this case. I'm going to start it at that 4k mark. Uh, I'm going to have my red positive trail go in on my orange wire. My uh, black negative coat is going to go on my blue wire. And we'll see what the overall resistance is in this circuit if I can hold those steady. So we get total value. It's a little jumping around. Let's see if we can't get a more stable value. It is around 230, 231, two, and that's in kilo ohms. So 0.23 kilo ohms or 0.228 kilo ohms uh, ends up being about 230 ohms. Uh, so that's going to be our total resistance, approximately our total resistance in that. Uh, then I'll plug these va these wires back in, so my uh, positive in and my negative back in. Uh, turn our power supply back on, and now we want to measure our voltage to do that. Again, we have to change over to our voltage setting. Uh, I'm going to put it at the 20 since we have 6.5 volts, so we should have about 6.5 volts coming in. Uh, we'll double check that value and see exactly how much we have going in uh, by touching uh, on the wires that bring us into our power supply. I actually, I'll just go over to my alligator leads. Uh, and I want red on red and black on black. Have that backwards there to start. If I can hold it steady for you. When we do that, we get a value of about 6.42, 6.43 volts coming in. So we got about 6.42, 6.43 volts total in our system. Uh, then we want to go through each one of the resistors. So I'm going to try to go in numerical order for what's on uh, our sheet here. So I'm going to start with my R1, which in our case is a 330 ohm resistor. And I'm just going to go on both sides of that one. And we get a value of about 4.33 volts. Then I'm gonna come over on this side to R2, which is our 220 ohm resistor. And we get a value of about 3.17 volts, it looks like. Make sure. 3.17 volts. Then we come to R3, which is that jumper there in the middle that goes between uh, where R1 and R2 are plugged in. And in this case, I'm getting about 1.14 volts. And that's when I have the red on the 8N, which is coming from the 220, and the black on the 11N, which is coming from the 330. Then next, I'm going to go to my R4, which is going to be this 100 ohm resistor over here. And when I do that, I get a voltage of about 2.04 volts. And finally, we go to our R5, which is that 470 ohm resistor. When you do that, we get about 3.21 volts. Uh, so that's each one of your voltages for uh, this uh, complex circuit we have on 3.1.5 for Kirchhoff's Law Lab. Uh, from there, you should be able to calculate uh, your current using Ohm's Law since we know our resistors, we know the voltage across each one, and we know our total resistance in the circuit and our total voltage in that circuit. So hopefully that helps get you rolling. If you have questions, let us know. Otherwise, thank you and good luck.